guys, Nanman here with another episode of our Modern Meta Breakdown video. This time we're going to be talking about our Devoted Druid deck. Now, if you guys are familiar, this deck existed in previous iterations. Abzan Counter Company was one of them, which we did a video on um, last year when people were still running Court of Calling and Collected Company. Since then, it's been updated. There's better ways to find your combo pieces. Uh, Finale of Devastation is one of them, hence where it gets its name. Um, devoted Devastation because it still runs the same combo creatures of being able to generate infinite mana. So we're going to look at two lists today um, and just kind of talk a little bit about some of the flex spots that these lists have. Um, there are some variations that exist out there. Some people um, are running um, Stoneforge Mystic in it. We're not going to be looking at those lists today. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about the Devoted, or not devoted, uh, we've already talked a little bit about Stoneforge Mystic in a previous episode, so you can check that out if you haven't seen that yet. But let's hop over and take a look at these two lists. That's not the button I want. Where's my button? Button, button, who's got the button? There we go. Boom. There's our button. Okay. As any sort of mana ramp style deck, you have to have Birds of Paradise, right? So... There are specific creatures that are those ramp creatures in this list. There are toolbox creatures to help you kind of survive till you get to your combo. And then your, there are your combo creatures to get your infinite mana and your creatures that help you win the game. So let's talk a little bit um, about kind of the combo itself. All right. There are two main creatures that you need on the battlefield in order to gain infinite mana. That would be our Devoted Druid, which... You can see it down there, tap, you get to generate one green mana, then you can put a minus one counter on it and be able to untap it. But if you have a zero out, don't have to worry about it because you won't be putting any counters on your stuff. So that makes it a little bit easier. You can be able to tap it, untap it infinitely and generate infinite green mana. So you can be able to use that infinite green mana to help you kind of combo out and win. You can be able to um, Generate all that mana to find your creatures that can kill your opponent, um, which really the deck uh, has kind of two in here. Kind of the tried and true that most people are familiar with is I'm just going to make a giant walking ballista and just shoot you to death. Pew, pew, pew. Um, the other one is if you want to go wide, all right? Shala is in there, so you can be able to make everything have a bunch of counters on it and just kind of swing in and kill somebody off um, because you can generate a bunch of plus one counters really easy to kind of go wide with that sort of strategy so those are our kind of main ways about doing things get a bunch of mana be able to get out this kind of creature and kind of profit from there all right so i can either kind of get a lot of mana and do one of these ways this mana though needs to get kind of dumped into stuff to get all these creatures that i need so that gives us things like our um, spells that we've got here so let's talk a little bit about our spells that we've got. We've also got a creature that can help us along this line. So this newest version of the deck are going to be running kind of our finding creatures spells. Not that one. These ones here. Once upon a time and of course our finale. All right. So here are all the different spells that we've got to work with here. You can be able to have all this mana and use Dustwatch Recruiter and his activated ability to pay three and just kind of cycle through your top cards and just, choo -choo -choo. okay, look, all right, do I have a creature card from those top three? Cool, I can add it to my hand. One creature. Boom, put the rest on down. Keep looking, keep looking. Oh, okay, there's Walking Ballista. I can win. Oh, there's Shalia. I can win. Uh, once upon a time, kind of same concept. You're going to be um, able to look at the top five this time. You can get a land, or you can be able to get a creature. So if you're hurting on lands, which, hey, if you already have infinite mana, don't worry. But if you're kind of building up to that stage, once upon a time is very, many, very, 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 very beneficial. On the other side of things, the two cards at the top, which are extremely important, are those more specific cards that you want to find. So we've got our call up at the top here that you can just kind of search your library for a creature, reveal it, put it to your hand. So you can be able to find a very specific piece if you're looking for Devoted Druid, if you're looking for your Vizier, or if you want some more toolboxy stuff, you want some protection, you want Deputy of Detention in there, 
Um, you want your giver of runes, you know, you want your ranger, however you want to kind of go about things that can kind of help you. Um, the finale of Devastation is extremely important because it's kind of like Court of Calling was, but it's got more of an upside now because you get to pick creature from your graveyard as well. So it's not just the traditional, I get to search my library like the other cards. So that's why that one is particularly important. And let's pop these guys out of the way for a second. Bam, bam. So finale is really good. You cannot convoke your creatures, but if you're making infinite mana um, off of your devoted druid, you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. But you can be able to search your library for that creature with converted mana cost X or your graveyard and be able to um, put it onto the battlefield. So it seems pretty good to be able to kind of find that piece. So if you're going that Shali route, you can be able to do that. The finale is also kind of that help me to win, right? Oh, something happened while walking Ballista, went to the graveyard. Well, I'll just go find Eternal Witness, right? Eternal Witness lets me get something back from my graveyard. Sweet. I can also find more spells. I can do different things and be able to get back and get the Walking Ballista that I need. I can be able to get Chalia that I need. So it works out really well. The other th nice thing about these updated lists, uh, in addition to kind of being able to find the combos, which is kind of really the main idea of it, right? That's why it runs Ranger in here. Um, so you can be able to kind of find those combo pieces that you might need. Uh, you can be able to get Giver of Runes in certain situations off of this. You can also be able to get Walking Ballista in those sort of situations. So it is really important to be able to have Ranger in there. Uh, Jace Vern Prodigy is in certain lists because it is a Bant version of this kind of counter company style of deck. The Devoted Druid allows you to be able to kind of get all this green mana Sweet. Now, if I don't have any ways to dump things into, I can use Jace, and he can be able to flip, and I can be able to cast my spells, you know, as if they had flashback. So you get to have that kind of ability with Jace in there. And just a little bit of card advantage is always good. But the other thing is, because it's Bant, we get the Powerhouse 3 Mana Planeswalkers. Our good old buddy Oko, who's been devastating Standard, got banned from Standard. He's all over the place in Modern. So he's definitely a good reason to be running this version of the list. There's only two copies in here, um, but if you do not have Oko, don't worry. There are other Planeswalkers that are three mana that are just as powerful, and that would be our Teferi Time Raveler. Being able to have him out and say, hey, you can't cast anything on my turn. I'm just going to combo off. Hope you enjoy that. Like That makes a huge difference for these sort of combo style of decks. Because it has these toolboxy cards in here, and ability to find them. That's why you see kind of a, a nice mix of like one of uh, hanging out in the board here. Um, kind of protection spells, if you will, Veil of Summer, Unified Will, um, kind of removal with Path to Exile, right? We've got our Collector in here, Burton Forge Tender, Gaddock Teague, some be able to kind of find those as well as just extra Planeswalkers because why not? All right, so that's kind of the way that things work with this. It's either a go wide or it's a pure strategy if somebody happens to have something like a pithing needle that can try to get you and mess with you, they'll probably be targeting walking ballista. You know, it's rare that they're going to have two and get Shalia. It, you know, it could happen, but if that's the case, you have ways to deal with it, right? Oh, uh, that's a cool pithing needle. I hope you enjoy that elk now that you have, right? You have ways to kind of uh, be able to protect your stuff, bounce that back and then combo off. Right? So you have ways to be able to win through the n traditional hate that people used to bring in against you. Now there is one more um, seek and find style spell that exists that we're going to pull up and talk about with the secondary less. So shaved on a few creatures in order to do this. We've also are not running any Oko in the main board for this list, just purely Teferi. Um, and we're going to be talking about our post-modern lunge. So the post-mortem lunge is really cool. Uh, slide it over. Um, because of the Phyrexium, you can just pay the two life, no big deal. Uh, but it kind of is another way to just kind of go pure and more pure, I guess, combo. Uh, because you get to pull creatures from your graveyard. Now they are going to be able to have haste. 
So that's the difference between some other sort of reanimator spells that might exist. Uh, you get to immediately start comboing off. So if for some reason your vizier got killed off or your devoted druid got killed off and you happen to have this, boom, just get it back, right? Easy, easy, easy. Um, so this list is kind of a little bit more committed to the combo because it does have all the ways to get it um, and running that three post-mortem lunge in there, uh, really kind of committing to it. Also, you see there are more um, kind of mana ramp style creatures in here because he is running the gilded goose in addition to kind of our noble hierarch style of play that we're used to seeing. Um, just kind of maybe taking more advantage of that food with Oko and things like that. Um, I, You know, really, in this list, you don't have to have as many uh, hate cards, right? Um, we have, like, more Dustwatch recruiters in here. Um, there are Eternal Witnesses, which you should have. The Ranger, which you should have. These are, like, those pieces that you can't really shave on, right? Vizier, Shalia. But you're noticing there's no Deputy of Detention. There's no toolboxy cards in this list and that's kind of the main difference between different ways that you can build them is that am i going to be more combo focused or am i going to be more toolboxy focused both still have the combo in there and both are still trying to do the same things of assemble devoted druid and vizier and just profit off of that infinite mana what can i do with that infinite mana do I have Dust Watch out so I can be able to just keep finding the creatures that I need? Do I have one of my spells that lets me be able to get something from my library or my graveyard and then just cast it? You know, how am I going to benefit? How can I kill you now that I have this combo assembled? Am I killing you with a walking ballista and just shooting you to death? Am I going to make all of my creatures really, really big and just kind of power through and go wide against you? So you have to kind of decide and having that flexibility with this sort of combo is what makes this deck so powerful because the traditional ways of taking it out don't really work as well. Um, but, you know, the main reason is you have powerful planeswalkers and more spells to find the creatures that you need for this combo than the traditional devoted druid style of decks that existed before. Like I said, there are other variants and there are those flex spots depending on how you want to go about it, right? Do you need the Deputy of Detention? Do you need that more removal in here? Like some of our sideboard stuff, again, we're kind of back into those one of, um, kind of how can we help deal with things a little bit more? There's a lot more creatures in the sideboard for this list because you can have all your toolbox pieces thrown into the sideboard, knowing that you're more committed in the main board to that 100% combo. So these sort of lists, really cool it's nice to see these sort of creature decks that exist uh in modern and showing that you don't necessarily just have to have oko to win right it's you can just get by with just the kind of pure creature style and running the teferi main board um you know the, the land base that you'd expect to see it is bant um so of course you've got your fetch lands you've got your shock lands there are some fast lands that have been thrown into the mix depending on how many and what sort of colors do you want to go for? Um, you know, there are the, of course, um, Horizon Canopy is in this list, but uh, it is kind of that traditional Bant style of play, depending on how much you're committing to specific colors, because the first list was running Oko, there are more kind of blue sources um, thrown into here as well by having that botanical sanctum. But that's kind of a quick and, you know, simple rundown of what the deck is trying to do how it's trying to kill you and kind of ways to kind of deal with it it's activated abilities are a hard thing to kind of deal with graph diggers cage makes a huge difference against this list because they cannot get creatures from their library they cannot get creatures from their graveyard so if you have that in your board this is the time to be bringing it in against these sort of lists so i hope this gave you at least a little bit of an insight into kind of what the traditional style of our devoted druid list exists at this moment in time uh, if you guys like the content please 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 consider subscribing hitting the following buttons all that kind of good stuff there are going to be more of these modern meta breakdown videos coming up in the future we do have our minecraft series that we're working on we've got a 
secret StarCraft project in the works, but there's going to be a lot more content coming up over the next couple months. So a great way to show your support is checking out all those links all around the page as well as in the description down below. But thanks for tuning in and watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next game.